customers often want to buy products from international e-commerce sites. However, they were often uncomfortable shopping in another language, even when they were able to speak that language. Luckily, increasing number of e-commerce sites have started to offer multiple language versions to meet their global audience's needs and expand their customer base. Unfortunately, many of them failed to make their language switcher usable, disappointing international shoppers. Here are six tips to help improve your language switcher and satisfy your global customers. First, default to the language version that matches users' browser settings. This approach helps users avoid using the language switcher at all. It saves them an extra step if you can do the work for them. In an e-commerce study in China, the net Porte site automatically displayed its Chinese version with the CNY currency based on the user's browser settings. Participants were delighted with this default. However, it isn't always possible to do this automatically. If a site can't detect the user's country, it's better to ask the user to identify their country rather than risk making an incorrect guess. Second, put the language switcher in the top corners of desktop sites. Across time and cultures, we found that users look to the upper right corner to change a country or language setting. If they couldn't find it there, they would turn to the top left corner. We observed this behavior in both American and Chinese participants. When sites violated this convention, users spend a lot more time looking for the language switcher, sometimes failing to find it at all. For instance, the Feel Unique site put its language switcher at the very bottom of the site, below the footer. A Chinese participant spent several minutes on Feel Unique's English version and failed to realize that she could have been shopping in her native language, Chinese. On mobile sites, the language switcher should be above the fold or inside the hamburger menu to make it discoverable. Space is always limited on mobile screens, so you may not be able to put it in the top right or left corner. Still, you need to make sure users can locate it within the hamburger menu. Like what Look Fantastic did, but as Maybe Baby failed to do. The fourth tip is to display the name of an available language in that language. For instance, Espanol instead of Spanish. This ensures that users won't miss the menu item they want to choose. An English speaker will know what English means when it's written in English, but likely not when it's written in Chinese. Fifth. Make the switcher easy to notice by using a combination of symbols, including the name of the country or the language, the national flag, and its currency symbol. This will make the switcher bigger and more likely to be recognized and also work as a reminder, helping users understand what they can change on this site. Last but not least, allow users to change language country, and currency separately. Some shoppers wanted to see product information in the original language, in case it would be more detailed. Some believed there would be more products listed on the original site. Others wanted to use a different currency to get a better exchange rate. Provide the flexibility to satisfy these diverse needs. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel. On our website, nngroup.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 articles. You can also register for one of our UX courses that offer live, hands-on UX training.